All right, let's continue now that I am fed. <laughs> oh, it was so needed, guys. Much better. Now, all right, so this is another sassy cat. Rainy day sassy cat is what she'll be known as. It's got like umbrellas with raindrops. That's why it's rainy day. Um, and then a very traditional Japanese bird motif. This is the pinks and purples and blues. And I think I said orange as well. A kitty looking out the window. It's raining outside, you can't go out. I love how the zipper matches along with the like pull tabs and it's got a white lining. And then this is a cotton linen blend. It's sassy cat on coffee cups or coffee mugs. I think this is coffee cups. This one's on a dark teal. Various colored mugs, uh, navy zip, navy and white ribbon pull tabs, and a beige lining. And then rainy day sassy cat in blues and greens, and there's a little bit of purple. Blue zip, uh, navy blue with white pull tab. Again, same print as the pink one, just in a different color scheme. And it's blue lining. The next one is Polar Bear Cafe on navy blue. Again, same polar bear that you get with polar bear and pancakes. There's even the penguin. Coffee break, polar bear cafe drink time. Navy, it's got the brown zip again. Um, navy with white pull tabs and then a beige lining. This is one of my, well, okay, I love all these prints but there are a few that are my favorites. This is among my favorites because it's Matryoshka cats and bears. So the stacking dolls, nesting dolls. Um, it's got a really cool teal in it. So it's got like the almost matching teal zipper. It's got a sparkly teal um, pull tab and beige lining. Super cute. Embroidered birds also comes on black. Same idea, just birds on black. A little bit different color scheme than on the navy. Um, beige lining, black poles, and black zip. You have seen this print before if you've been watching for a bit, but this is some of the last of it. So it's a restock. It's cats with fishy bow ties. And then a bright greeny yellow zipper to match one of the fishes, uh, white lining, and a the polka dot sparkly pull tab like on the My Pleasant Company bags. <clears throat> Another familiar fabric, but in a different form. It's Sassy Cat Amongst Roses on red. So that's the back. Various Sassy Cats, various roses very sassy here. Uh, red zip, black pull tabs, and beige lining. And then traditional Japanese motif on purple. Gold highlighted, I love it. So like in here, all of this is highlighted as well. It's got a pink zip to kind of pull in this pink. Purple sparkly zippers and a beige lining because it's a darker fabric. This is My Pleasant Company Cats, uh, just with a dark zipper. That's, that's the only difference. And we might have a visitor here in a moment because he's being a bit of a pest. Oh no, he just likes the box. It's Flynn, one of the quality control inspectors. They gotta make sure everything is good, not just the bags. So here is Sassy Cat on coffee cups on mustard. It's a dark mustard color. Uh, navy with white pull tabs, navy zipper, beige lining. This is cotton linen blend. It's a little bit heavier weight as well. And then crabs. This is crabs, crabs, crabs. That's what it's listed on the website as. Now, I can never tell if it's actually a black or navy blue background. Either way, the crabs steal the show anyway. I do have a bright yellow zipper in there along with yellow and white pull tabs and then it's got a white lining. And then I think this is the last large box bag. It's another restock. It's Sakura on Night Sky Navy. Very traditional Sakura with cherry blossoms. 
navy zip, navy pull tabs with white, and it's got a blue lining. Very nice Japanese print. All right. We're going to go into knot bags. So knot bags, is a, they're the new style that I introduced this year. Um, and what ends up happening, it's an asymmetrical handle system. These bags have no zippers. Um, so if you're concerned about zippers around your knitting or you do a lot of lace and you don't want it getting caught in the zipper, this is actually a really good option. If you have wool cats or any marauding children or anything like that, not a good option. <laughs> but uh, what ends up happening, you pull the longer handle through the shorter one and voila, you've got a nice little package. It's really nice even as a handbag, you can loop it over your wrist. And then the same thing as all my other bags is you can carry it along with you. So like with the box bags, you can put your hand through the handle. With the knot bags, same idea. I'm actually working on a sweater out of this right now. Now the sweater is in pieces, but this holds a whole cone of yarn. Um, generally, I would suggest not more than two 100 gram skeins or cakes of worsted weight, just because there is no zipper to contain it. So here's Sassy Cat playing with Tamari again on Peach. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, coffee paraphernalia on Aqua. Um, lots of dogs on Pink. This is Cotton Linen Blend. White lining. Cats and Abstract Circles. White lining again. Automobiles on white. A whole bunch of like classic cars. I love this print. Again, white lining. I have made a very conscious effort to try and get good colors with the bags because obviously it's a lot more visible on uh, the interior of these bags compared to the zip bags. This is coffee paraphernalia on, I think I call it natural with flex. The new ones will actually be called Vanilla Bean, because that's what it reminds me of, is like Vanilla Bean Flex. Um, Japanese Matsuri print on red. So it's koi and flowers and just super cute, very bright red, it's like cherry red. White lining. Cats, Sassy Cat playing with Tamari on ivory. White lining on that one too. Sassy cat, Whew, lots of sassy cats. Amongst Sakura on peach, check. Cause not quite gingham. White lining, again, super cute, super sassy. Look at that sassy cat. I love this one. And then crabs, crabs, crabs. Again, bright crabs, blue lining. Sassy Cat on Coffee Cups. This is the Cotton Linen again. Um, it's uh, Sassy Cat on Coffee Cups on Dark Mustard. Beige lining. And again, Frenchies on Dark Teal with Natural Polka Dots. Super cute. Look at how sad they look. They're doing the walk. They're super happy over here because they've gone for a walk. Beige lining <clears throat> and then halloween prints halloween cards on purple white lining uh, i think there's a third one as well but we'll get to it later but here's the other one uh so the like i don't know halloween symbols the harry potter-esque one white lining um, Matsuri activities, so Japanese festival activities in stripes. So it's got the balloons and the lanterns and like catching koi with those little wand things with the paper in them. That's nearly impossible. Um, <coughs> yeah, and then a whole bunch of festival food like, um, oh, what is it called? So there's ramen and snow cones and just a bunch of other stuff. Um, white lining, I'll show you, white lining. Scooters on navy, this is cotton linen, a little bit heavier. Beige lining, 
Citrus Fruits on dark gray, white lining, white lining. These are also not interface, so they're super squishy. You can like stuff them into a bag. So like that's without even folding that nicely. It's one handful basically. <laughs> this is my Pleasant Company on black beige lining. <coughs> um, bunnies on light blue. Bunnies cavorting amongst cherry blossoms on light blue. Blue lining. Lots of animals on natural. White lining as well. Sweets Party, black lace, white lining. Sweets Party, white lace, white lining. Scotties in sweaters, white lining. Bunnies cavorting amongst cherry blossoms on light pink, white lining. Salon de Te, uh, white lining. Peppy budgies on pink, white lining. Sweets party with pink lace, white lining. <coughs> um, polar bear making pancakes in monochrome, white lining. I think I actually, I think this will be gray monotones. Cause like it's kind of a blue gray or monochromatic gray, there we go bright uh it's koi on pink this has actually got a really cool highlighting as well like in their scales and then in the background too white lining um quirky cats on paper airplanes on bright lime green uh this is actually okari okari sonata kun so welcome home sonata kun you've seen him before making foods the cook cat white lining Sassy cat amongst abstract sakura or cherry blossoms. Such a happy sassy cat though. Like look at that happy sassy cat. Um, blue lining. Budgies in ribbon frames. White lining. F Bow wow Frenchies on light blue. Blue lining. Sassy cat tucked into quilts. This I love this fabric. Look at the sassy cat butt. <laughs> and, then, and then the little paws. And Dahlia totally does this. So like this fabric is perfect to represent her. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Do you see it? <laughs> Beige lining. Um, this is a fun new fabric. This is like clouds with super bright neon dots. Lined in white fabric you've seen before but in a new shape it's snow white on pink love the aqua bows on this though with the accents and then it's got a white lining <clears throat> sassy cat with butterflies and roses on gray beige lining uh, Mount Fuji with setting Sun white lining snow white on white <laughs> Like I said, so original. Also, I love the pink. I don't know, I just like those accents on these ones. White lining, also the red on here really pops. Uh, traditional print, same as before. It's got that nice highlight of gold. Beige lining. Sassy cat playing with Tamari on black. Now, I know it's a gray cat, but it's still sassy cat. Continuity, beige lining. <clears throat> Matt City print or koi. I think I called this one koi on bright pink because they show up a bit better here than they did on the uh, red. Uh, white lining. Geisha fans. Yeah, okay. And it's actually picked out the little, little like flowers in the back are picked out with gold as well. Uh, geisha fans with white lining. <coughs> Circles of Japan. It's got a bunch of traditional motifs in the circles. White lining. Cats racing down curtains on burnt sienna. Uh, why it reminds me of that is this here. Yeah, this guy here makes it look like he's like 
trailing down the curtains with his claw marks behind him. Um, obviously a lot of picked out in gold, which is super nice. White lining. <clears throat> Traditional print on purple. Nice picking out with gold. Beige lining. Japanese umbrellas on red. White lining. There. Sparkly doilies on imperial purple. Let's see if we can pick up the sparkle. There we go. And it's got a beige lining. Nice subtle one. I like this one. I think this would be good for like, if it's not for yourself, um, like a younger girl. It'd be a nice little handbag actually. Or a handbag for you. I would totally use it. <laughs> Um, sassy cat amongst Sakura on purple check. So sassy, like I said. You just give a happy face. Coffee beans for all my coffee lovers out there are still um, on teal. I'm calling this blue lining. <clears throat> Mermaid stripes. Very limited quantity of this fabric, so if you like it, get it. Um, white, eee, sorry, got a white lining, will you trust me, there we go, white, I can show you, you've seen this before but it's in a different shape again, it's the geisha amongst cherry blossoms on black, very delicate, none of them are actually facing the viewer, it's all from the back, I guess it's more the myco because it's got the, they've got the long obi, <coughs> it has a beige lining, the last of the Halloween prints in the knot bags. Have fun, eat junk. White lining. Illusion zebras in lemon and lime, because I don't know what else to call it. White lining. It's very dizzying seeing it on camera, actually. <laughs> Sorry, I won't try, won't, or I'll try not to give anyone motion sickness. Um, polar bear making pancakes in pastels. Uh, white liner Another one you've seen before, but it's super fun lined up cats in navy on ivory white lining I love this one. There's totally a Thin one here somewhere Yeah, I figured this looks like Flynn the most <laughs> And then finally in knot bags come hither cats on bright pink so they totally have cat butts and that's why I call it come hither cats because that's totally the like come here come hither look to me at least and that's lined in white and then there's yellow accents on that one too okay so the next round of bags is big bags which I remembered there was a big stack of bags actually in a suitcase because it's taken me a while to get these photos done. I'm really glad that I'm actually, I've actually got them done for Black Friday, so. All right, big bags are actually transitioning to all having a handle or two handles, so they're gonna be more like tote bags. Um, as such, the price has increased just minimally because there is more material. Um, I'm not gonna list prices here because you can find them on the site in your currency uh, because anything I'll say here is Canadian dollars, not translated or like converted to anything else so uh, but all the big bags now do have handles like this they're tote handles they're nylon um, webbing and they are an inch oh let's check I think they're an inch wide they're an inch and a half um, various colors again matched basically to the bags so uh, so this is Sassy Cat on coffee cups on the dark teal. It's got a navy zip, obviously these bright handles, super nice. Um, and then it's got a blue lining. These bags will hold about 700 grams of worsted weight yarn. I currently have nine skeins of Lion Brand Woolies Thick and Quick in my bag. And it's full, but I can still fit it. So. That gives you a pretty good idea that these are like, they're huge guys. Like, 
Look at that. That's as, that's as wide as my face. Uh, cotton linen blend, they are interfaced so that they'll stand up on their own, even with the handles, which you can see right now. Um, what else was I going to say about this? Oh, the handles are top stitched in such a way that you've basically got a super easy way, because I don't put pull tabs on these ones. Um, but as you can see here, they're top stitched so that you have a really easy way when it's on your shoulder to open and close. So the handles don't get in your way um when it's on your shoulder so so there that's the that's the big explanation now we'll just go into prints so japanese dragons and peonies on gray you can see that these guys are massive and these are actually i think there's one more large box bag available to make and then this fabric's gone i didn't get very much of it uh white liner black handles dark charcoal gray zip Sassy Cat Amongst Roses on Butter Yellow. It's not yellow yellow, but it's not ivory either, so it's butter yellow. Uh, it's got black nylon handles, a vanilla zipper I would call it, and I think this is lined in white. Yeah, it's lined in white. Um, Fair Isle on black, instead of the pink that we saw earlier in large box bags. Uh, beige lining black handles. The tigers are back. Tigers on ivory, black handles, um, ivory-ish. Actually it's beige. Let's just call this all beige. It's lined in white. Sassy cat amongst roses on red. This fabric is so suited to these bags that it's insane because the cats are so big like they're not quite as tall as my hand, but they're pretty darn close. Uh, black nylon handles, red zip, and beige lining. All these fabrics are machine washable, air dry. Um, just because I don't want you melting the nylon in your dryer. <laughs> Pandas holding strawberries on blue. This is a cotton linen blend. It's got a blue ha uh, nylon handle, red zip, white lining. And then Japanese floral on navy, pink handles, navy zip, and lined in beige. Sassy cat amongst purple roses, and this is actually on a twill. Um, so it's got a little bit different. Of course, there's threads everywhere. Surprise! <laughs> yeah, you can kind of see that on camera, but it's a twill fabric. All different rose like colors not as saucy as she could be but still super cute this one on the back is awesome i love her that one purple handles um zip to match or pretty darn close to one of the colors of the roses beige lining onigiri on bright line green green handles green zip white lining Geiko or geisha. Geiko is the word for Kyoto geisha. Uh, so you'll often hear me refer to them as geiko. But this is these are actually maiko. These are trainee geisha because you can tell because of the long obi and the super fancy like hair ornaments. Anyway, this is uh, maiko or geisha with Kyoto landmarks. Um, I'm pretty sure this is like Fushimi Inari and Toji Pagoda. Toji. And it's definitely a Kyoto landmarks with this because they actually burn that symbol into a hill in Kyoto every summer. Uh, purple handles to pull out the purple accent, purple zip, um, beige lining. Fantasy bookshelves. This is mostly Alice themed, but there is some other, as you can see. So there's like the Queen of Hearts. At least I'm assuming that's the Queen of Hearts. There's definitely Alice. But it's got some other characters on there too. This is uh, fantasy bookshelves on purple. Pink handles, purple zip, white lining. A little bit larger just to accommodate more print. Japanese style dragons with peonies on black. Red handle, red zip, beige lining. Quirky cats on paper airplanes. 
got a dark charcoal handle to go with the key here. Uh, bright green zip white lining. More cats, because we always need more cats. Now this is called more cats for a reason, because there's actually more cats is shouted right here. Uh, this is more cats in blue, and it's got like a beige handle, um, navy zip white lining. Because who doesn't need more cats? Well, I guess if you're allergic, you don't need more cats, but I could always use more cats. At least more cat time. Polar Bear Cafe on vanilla bean or natural. Black handles, uh, beige zip, white lining. Polar Bear Cafe on forest green. Beige handles, navy zip, uh, beige lining. These are both a little bit heavier weight, so they're a really nice sturdy bag. Same as the more cats. They're still cotton. This is a cotton linen blend. This is Sassy Cat on coffee cups on dark mustard. Navy zip, uh, beige lining, and the handle is actually crossbody handle, so it's longer, and it's in like a dark charcoal gray. 8515 cotton linen blend. Same as the next one is also cotton linen blend. This is Sassy Cat on coffee cups on dark brown. Um, black handles, dark brown zip, white lining. Coffee paraphernalia on vanilla bean or natural with flex. I think I listed those as. So why it's coffee paraphernalia is there's like a French press and there's coffee cups and there's muffins and there's coffee house signs and a like a uh, percolator and a manual coffee grinder. So it's all the stuff that kind of goes along with coffee. Coffee beans. Uh, it's got a crossbody black handle and it's got a the beige zip with a white lining I promise this is the last of coffee print <laughs> this is just coffee 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 uh, beige handles beige zip white lining Japanese cats on black traditional Japanese print with cats in the motif black handles black zip beige lining and then, oops, sorry, my foot was falling asleep. There we go. <laughs> Just too excited to show you the things. Um, Japanese cats on brown, black handle, dark brown zip, beige lining. And then finally, Japanese cats on navy. So obviously the cat colors all change as you actually get different bags as well. Let me see if I can show this to you all in one. So these guys are like purple or yeah purple and pink and green. This one has like oranges kind of complements the blue more and then this one's a little bit more towards the black one is a little bit more towards what the brown colors are. Uh, the navy bag however does have a navy zip, black handles and a beige lining. They're all darker so they've got a little bit they don't have the white lining. Strawberries! I specifically bought this fabric for the big bags. There are only ever going to be two big bags out of this fabric. Um, one is handled, one has the wrist strap. This is before I decided I was going to all handles. Um, this one is strawberries on pink with a red handle, pink zip, and they should be lined in white. Yeah, white. Uh, then there's the wrister one for the pink. And it's got a red pull tab down at the other end since it's got the wrister. And this should be white as well. Yeah, lined in white. And then the one I have to show you is the strawberries on light blue. Red and white pull tab, wrister, uh, vanilla zip, <coughs> white lining. All right, let's check the time. I've got 10 minutes. So let's start into small bags, small box bags. So small box bags, the first one here is the Salon de Thé. Um, small box bags are good for about 300 grams of fingering weight yarn. So they're good for accessories and the starts of, or complete shawls. I knit my whole doodler out of one of these. This one has a blue pull tab, uh, vanilla zip and white lining. This one is another 
bunnies with blue flowers. I picked up the blue color in the zip with this one. They're a little bit large, so mostly you get flowers, but there is at least one bunny on there that's facing the right way. Uh, and little bunny eyes peeking out on the handle. Blue zip, blue lining, blue pull tabs. The first of the sweets party um, with black lace. Vanilla zip, sparkly pink pull tabs, white lining. Polar Bear makes pancakes, bright version. Um, heavier weight cotton, again, I'll remind you of this, although it is 100% cotton, so it's a nice, it holds its shape really nice, even though it's been packed away. Uh, teal zip, bright teal kind of, sorry, teal zip pole, bright teal zipper, white lining. And then same with this guy, he's the like gray monochrome, polar bear makes pancakes. And it's got a navy zip, blue, white lining, and then a navy blue and white pull tab. Seen this print, but this is the new version of this one. It's um, bright birds on bright lime green. And then it's got a bright pink pull tab with sparkles and a pull, uh, pink zipper. Victorian woodland bunnies on black with a red zip. I think this is a restock but you know black uh, black pull tabs and then beige beige lining my pleasant company cat on orange this one I went a little bit brighter with the zip because it's a bright fabric got a white lining yellow zip and then the black and gold chevron pull tabs This is Subtle Cats Amongst Floral on blue, in blue, one of the two. I like it because it is very subtle. It's really hard to see the cats unless you're looking for them. Uh, blue pole zip and poles to match. And then white fabric. It's the start of the coffee fabric on the other side. Dark coffee bean brown, uh, black pull tabs and white lining. Like I said, you'll have seen most of these prints already, but uh, I wanted to show you different shapes. And if you haven't watched, if you don't have the time or don't want to watch the whole episode, then you can like, and you might have just chosen to watch just small box bags because that's what you're looking for. I'll show them to you in all of the formations. This is dogs with the red highlights, red zip, red pole, and white lining. <coughs> Christmas fabrics, all of the Christmas fabrics are uh, stitched with gold top stitching. So there's a little bit of a glint, which you can see there. This is Santa and reindeer on red. Beige lining, red zip, red pull tabs. Um, bandana cats on white. Don't know which one's which one of these I like better, but I like them both, so, you know, professional bias. Uh, red with white pull tabs, red zip, a little bit darker than normal. Um, white lining, obviously because it's a white bag, very white bag. Um, <coughs> the subtlety of this one is still one of my favorite things. It's Sassy Cat in Paris, and, uh, if you look right here, there's actually cats in the background of like the Baroque pattern. It's super cute. It's got a bunch of different like paraphernalia. It's got a bunch of cats on it. It's got a bunch of roses. Paris. So this is Sassy Cat in Paris on mint. Uh, sparkle pink tabs, pink zip, and beige lining. This is Sassy Cat with cosmetics. That was just super cute. Red zip, black pull tabs, beige lining. Cactuses on butter yellow. This is a little bit more lemon yellow than the like 
sassy cat amongst roses, but look at those cactuses with their cowboy hats. Super cute little print. N very limited stock on uh, this fabric, just simply because I didn't get much. It's a small print, so I figured it would look best in small bags. I'll probably make a couple large bags, but the main purpose was small bags like this. Um, I've got a purple pull tab here to pick up the purple in the cactus, a yellow zip, and a white lining. The bunnies are back. Bunnies cavorting amongst cherry blossoms on pink. Uh, pink sparkle pull tabs. Pink zip, very light pink zip. White lining. This is the animals, just animals on white. It's got a navy zip, navy and white pull tabs. And it's got an alpaca, amongst other things. Uh, citrus on dark gray. White lining, dark gray zip, white pull tabs to kind of pull out the white in here. It's a little bit heavier. I put it in a medium weight, it's cotton linen blend. My Pleasant Cats, these ones are a little bit more interesting. I use different colored zips on these guys. Same uh, zip pulls though as the other ones of a pink with uh, polka dot sparkles. But purple zip on this one to pull out the purple in the bow ties and stuff and lined in beige. Are you getting tired of listening to me talk yet? Citrus on natural, uh, beige zip, white pull tab, same idea. White lining, cotton linen blend again. Um, cats are polka dots with polka dot pull tabs, beige zip, and uh, white lining. Just a cute, just a cute fabric. And as far as I know, it's cotton linen blend, medium weight again. Pretty birds on aqua. Uh, this one has pink sparkly pull tabs, blue zip, which is super cute, white lining. Nice and bright. So if you need some cheer for the jewelry months coming up, definitely take a look in the shop because there's lots of bright patterns going in. Sassy cat on coffee cups. I also love the fact that basically there's only one band of coffee cups across this whole thing. Handle will always, for box bags, will always sit like this. So when your bag is sitting on a table, your uh, if the pattern is directional, it will sit on the sit on the table. Um, just a personal thing that I make sure I do. Lined in beige, navy zip, green pull tabs. Bright birds on gray, light gray pull tab, navy and white. Sorry. Light gray zip, navy and white pull tabs, white lining. This is a fabric you've probably seen before if you've been watching for a bit, but I haven't had it in a small box bag for a while. Oh yeah, um, the Sassy Cat on coffee cups, that one was on dark mustard. It's a cotton linen blend, 8515. Um, this is Sassy Cat on coffee cups on dark brown, coffee brown. Uh, coffee bean brown, coffee bean brown zipper, navy and white pull tabs, beige lining, uh, 8515 cotton linen blend, medium weight fabric so it holds its shape nicely. Bunnies cavorting amongst Sakura on light blue. And again you can obviously hook your hand through the handle right here and you've got a nice carry along bag so that if you walk in knit or transit in knit you can just hook it there. This one has blue and white zip poles, uh, blue zipper and white lining, and I'm being told it is time to go for Japanese. So I will be back much later and I will show you the rest of the bags. Not that you're going to know once this video is edited. <laughs>